Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Metro Exodus. So in today's video, we're actually going to be going down through all of the different weapons that we're going to be able to find and craft in the open world of Metro Exodus, as well as the different attachments that we're going to be able to find and loot for these weapons and basically modify them to whatever situation that we're possibly going to imagine, as well as different ammo types and stuff like that that you're going to be able to craft with items and materials that you actually find in the open world of Metro Exodus. So without further ado, guys let's jump into the first weapon class and that is obviously the handguns so definitely probably the lower tier class that's going to be in metro exodus but nonetheless it is definitely going to be one of the more versatile weapon classes that we're going to be seeing in the game itself obviously you can see here we have a standard six shooter revolver but the amount of different things that you can change on this weapon to turn it into countless countless other weapons that you're going to be able to utilize in different situations is astounding so the first one we're actually going to be talking about is the sniper rifle so as you guys can see here when you actually take a sniper scout when you take a sniper stock and a four times scope and then you combine that with the long barrel it turns it into a six shooting sniper rifle and then you swap out the heavy barrel and then also with the closed reflex sight and then you put the box magazine underneath it turns it into a fast shooting SMG that absolutely decimates enemies at most ranges. So now moving on, we're going to be talking about the different shotguns and shotgun variations that are going to be in Metro Exodus. And me personally, this is probably going to be my favorite class to use in the game itself, just because this is going to allow you to get up close and personal with all the mutants and freaks and stuff like that and have a joyous time just blowing their heads off. So here you can see that there's different modifications that you're going to be able to put on this shotgun from its base model. And as you can see here with different grips, and then here we have the double barrel. And then the next one that you're really going to love is the quad barrel that we're going to be able to put on this with the different foregrips and stuff. is going to make for an endless amount of fun. And then you're going to see here that it has a long barrel with a long stock attachment as well as a big magazine there. And this is going to allow you to absolutely shred through enemies without having to reload multiple times and stuff. And now moving on to the rifles. So... Personally, my opinion on this is going to be this is probably going to be the more popular class to use in Metro Exodus just because of its versatility from, you know, full assault rifles and stuff up close and personal like the Kalash or the Bulldog you can see here that's very similar, but the variations and stuff that you're going to be able to put on these weapons to modify them in a number of different ways. Starting off here, you can see with some different grips and stock attachments that we're going to be putting on the assault rifle, which is the Bulldog, swapping it out for a six times scope as well as a long barrel with the extra has a foregrip there attached to it so it increases your accuracy and range you can basically turn this into a long or long range marksman rifle on the fly so all this stuff you can do out of your backpack if you have the right attachments and stuff and as you can see here we have a close range up and personal fully automatic assault rifle and then here we have the sniper rifle valve so Probably going to be the more popular rifle to use in the game among snipers just because of the different attachments and stuff that you can put on this to make it any sniper that you could possibly imagine. So swapping out long barrels, swapping out different you know scopes and stuff like that. You have night vision scopes, you have six time scopes, high powered scopes, reflex scopes that you're going to be able to put on this as well as different magazines that you're going to be able to put on this to make it either a single shot bolt action or a semi auto you know like a marksman rifle that has absolutely insane accuracy. Now moving along to the special weapons so the special weapons is going to be uh, probably one of uh, the more versatile classes just because this is going to be where a lot of your stealth is going to come from so we have the Takar as well as we're going to have the actual crossbow that we're going to be seeing which is the Helsing as you guys can see here and some of the cool things about the crossbow as you can see here we put on the the pneumatic bow system which increases the fire rate but it does slightly reduce the damage and you can see a different magazine here with the Helacom the helical magazine which allows you to shoot 36 balls which this is going to be the gun that's going to be shooting ball bearings which is what makes it so quiet and probably one of the more dependable guns in the game with some of the different gas operations and stuff that you're going to be able to swap out on this weapon so that you're going to be able to keep it as a high power and you're not actually going to have to pump the system so now we're going to kind of move along into here to a little bit of a showcase so showcasing some of the workbench options that we're going to be able to see in metro exodus so real quick though guys you're going to be able to make all of the modifications and stuff on the fly by simply taking out your backpack as long as you have that stuff with you and then when you actually get over to a workbench you're going to be able to throw your whole bag up onto the workbench and customize all of your different weapons repair them and stuff because as you're using these weapons they are going to get dirty they are going to get cruddy they are going to break and stuff so you're going to have to repair them and make it so that they don't jam and stuff when you're out in the open world because if you get into a situation where you're going up against a really tough enemy or like for instance a bear and your weapon breaks or jams or something on you you're going to be in deep trouble but all the different weapon modifications 
that you're going to be able to put on all these different weapons when it comes to stocks, grips, magazines, barrels, sights, you know, all sorts of cool things. And then also with, like I said, the pneumatic weapons with the different gas chambers and attachments that you're going to be able to put on that. So like, for instance, the first one allows you to actually pump up the gas so that you can use this weapon. And then there's actually sealed containers and stuff that allows you to keep all the gas in the weapon at all times. So basically has the max power, max range, and you don't have to pump it in between shots. But for the most part, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of this showcase here, showcasing the different weapon mods and stuff as I leave. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys found it helpful, you guys are excited about the weapons of Metro Exodus and you want to see more content like this on the channel, make sure to slap that like button and also subscribe if you are new, if you guys want to stay up to date with all things with Metro Exodus. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 and other games and stuff on the channel moving forward. But overall, guys, that's all for the video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.